The 48 Laws of Power by Robert Greene. Law number six, court attention at all costs. Everything is judged by its appearance. What is unseen counts for nothing. Never let yourself get lost in the crowd or buried in oblivion. Stand out, be conspicuous at all costs. Make yourself a magnet of attention by appearing larger, more colorful, more mysterious than the bland and timid masses. Draw attention to yourself by creating an unforgettable, even controversial image. Court scandal. Do anything to make yourself seem larger than life and shine more brightly than those around you. Make no distinction between kinds of attention. Notoriety of any sort will bring you power. Better to be slandered and attacked than ignored. Burning more brightly than those around you is a skill that no one is born with. You have to learn to start to attract attention. As surely as the lodestone attracts iron. At the start of your career, you must attach your name and reputation to a quality and image that sets you apart from other people. This image can be something like a characteristic style of dress or a personality quirk that amuses people and gets talked about. Once the image is established, you have an appearance, a place in the sky for your star. It is a common mistake to imagine that this peculiar appearance of yours should not be controversial. That to be attacked is bad. Nothing could be further from the truth. To avoid being a flash in the pan and having your notoriety eclipsed by another, you must not discriminate between different types of attention. In the end, every kind will work in your favor. Society craves larger than life figures people who stand above the general mediocrity. Never be afraid then of the qualities that set you apart and draw attention to you. Court controversy, even scandal. It is better to be attacked, slandered, than ignored. All professions are ruled by this law and all professionals must have a bit of showman in them. The great scientist Thomas Edison knew that to raise money he had to remain in the public eye at any cost. Almost as important as the inventions themselves was how he presented them to the public and courted attention. Edison would design visually dazzling experiments to display his discoveries with electricity. He would talk of future inventions that seemed fantastic at the time, robots and machines that could photograph thought, and that he had no intention of wasting his energy on but that made the public talk about him. He did everything he could to make sure that he received more attention than Nikola Tesla, who may actually have been more brilliant than he was, but whose name was far less known. In 1915, it was rumored that Edison and Tesla would be joint recipients of that year's Nobel Prize in Physics. The prize was eventually given to a pair of English physicists only later was it discovered that the prize committee had actually approached Edison, but he had turned them down, refusing to share the prize with Tesla. By that time, his fame was more secure than Tesla's, and he thought it better to refuse the honor than to allow his rival the attention that would have come from even sharing the prize. If you find yourself in a lowly position that offers little opportunity for you to draw attention, an effective trick is to attack the most visible, most famous, most powerful person you can find. Laws, 48 Laws of Power, number six. Huh, I have a lot to say about this. I do, about this one. Because with me being um, a social media personality here on TikTok and on the Meet Me app, I found that the higher I climb, the more popular I get on these apps, the more trolls come in and try to attack you or cut you down. And I don't pay any attention to it because of exactly what was said here, that for people that don't have a lot going on for them, the easiest thing for them to get attention is to attack those that already have the attention. And I discovered this way before I even read this book. 
So that's why when I see people trolling me or whatever, I just ignore them, kick them out of my stream and just keep it moving. I'm not even going to give them that energy. I don't know if I could be as petty as uh, Edison though, you know, and not accept an actual Nobel Prize. That is a great honor. And if you have to share it, you have to share it. So I don't think my ego is that strong, but maybe that's why I'm not so popular. Because <laughs> there are some things I just will not do. There you go. 